We're back with the screen team. Jamie and I are getting ready to review a, a movie that I said was very, very divisive in 2017. Jamie's like, really? What are you talking about, man? Well, you know, I heard some. I heard a little bit of you know bickering about it, but I didn't realize it was actually divisive. It was, man. I <laughs> I'm on the internet, and <laughs> have you ever been on that thing, man? It's the in- inner what <laughs> inner. No, it's like the wild wild west on that thing. I tell you I, what, man. You know, there is so much stuff on the internet. <laughs> uh, it's, and there's only so many hours in a day. That's so, very very true. I. If if I'm gonna watch people argue, uh, it's not gonna be about a Stephen King movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, they definitely argued about it, man. And um, the movie we're talking about is The Dark Tower. Like uh, Jamie said, it's uh, based on uh, Stephen King novels, a whole bunch of them, right? Yeah, and I actually went and looked this up. Um, it took him almost twenty years to write the whole series. I think. Wow. Um, the Gunslinger was the first one. Mm-hmm. It came out in the eighties, I think. Um, and then he just, you know, kept adding to it. And then there was even there was like a uh, little a novella, unless that's what they're counting as the Gunslinger, because it's the shortest one. It only had like fifty. 55,000 words or something. And then all the others were 128, 146,000, 198,000 words. You know, and they're these big, huge books. That guy's like a computer, man. He just pops them out. You ever see that yeah. one uh, Family Guy episode where, they're, where they got Stephen King on there? And they're like, uh, all right, Stephen, uh, what do you got for us? He's talking to his publisher, and he's like, uh, um, I've got a lamp. A lamp. Ooh, Ooh, scary lamp. <laughs> he just looks around the room. You're not even trying, are you? All right, we'll buy it. All right, we'll buy it, yeah. <laughs> um, but The Dark Tower, like we said, based on Stephen King uh, novels and short stories and stuff like that. What were your thoughts on, on watching this uh, film? You know, overall, I kind of liked it. I, mean, I did, too. It had too. Uh, it had some cool action scenes. Um, Man, a lot of people rag on McConaughey, and, you know... Th- this was one of those performances they could kind of pick on him for. Mm-hmm. I felt like he was just kind of getting by on swagger. You know, <laughs> I look at me, I'm wearing a black trench coat, you know, yeah. or whatever. But, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, it's hard. I guess it's maybe a little hard to buy him as a villain, uh, because he's played so many goofballs and, and even like sympathetic characters, sure. you know, in Dallas Myers club and things like that. Um, so yeah, I don't, it's, and I'm not one of those people that has to think about the whole, you know, suspension of belief or whatever. Um, but it, I don't know. It was just hard to buy him as a bad guy. Yeah, I could see that. You know. Um, and then, yeah, you know, for what this story was in this film, I, I, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. I did too, but I also don't know the you know the source material either. Yeah, I I've never read any of the Dark Tower stuff. And, um, and the people who who really crushed this movie were people who you know are, who were big fans of the books. Sure, and that that seems to be a common element when you know because look at uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit and all that kind of stuff, yeah. and even uh, maybe to a degree the uh, um, if you go and look at the original um, girl. With, with the, the dragon, dragon tattoo? tattoo yeah i mean there's probably people that even don't think those movies held up to the books as well um so that's understandable because like a book can explore so many facets of a character and and tell you so much about a character that it's hard to cram that into a two-hour film yeah and i and honestly i think that's what this movie's problem was is that they shouldn't have made a movie they should have made they should have developed a tv series Oh, yeah. I mean, to me, to me, it felt like this universe was was so big and so vast and so much you could you could put in there that you know this needed to be on Netflix or Amazon or, or something like or that HBO as a or whatever, yeah, as a multi year as, as a yeah. series, you know, yeah, because there's definitely enough to it. Like you said, it or like I was saying, it took him, I think it was twenty years or so sure. to do the whole story. Sure, and it ends up being eight or nine books. Yeah, you know? so that's that's a lot of material. And and another thing that kind of probably upset some people, they call this the Dark Tower, but it's really about the gunslinger. Um, from what I understand, I just I read some stuff on Wikipedia and, and a, a couple of book sites about the whole series. The story with this kid that's in this, it's it is part of a bigger story. Mm-hmm. So 
taking pieces of a couple of different parts of this whole story and then making one movie and then calling it just the dark tower yeah kind of misrepresents it in my opinion so what'd you think about idris elba he plays the gunslinger in this did you did you enjoy his performance oh yes definitely uh i've i've been a fan of his for a few years he was on the wire yeah he was awesome and, on that show and uh he's <laughs> and he was great on the office he was on the office. He was on the office. <laughs> the, the British version of it? No, the American one. Though. Really? Yeah, he's he's just a big you know big middle bossy. management guy, yeah. you know, and he shows up and there's a whole thing with Michael Scott. <laughs> yeah, there's there, he's in about uh, I want to say like five or six episodes over the course of one season. Wow. And uh, yeah, and he's kind of a straight man, you know, because like he comes in, and he's he's the boss, you know. <laughs> but he's got his American accent going, and you yeah. you never guess he was British. Yeah. Just by the way he handles himself in the in the uh, the office. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, this movie's rated PG thirteen. Is this a movie that um, you think uh, your son would like, or? I'm. I don't know. It's hard to say. He's fifteen, mm-hmm. and he has. Uh, very specific taste is sure. what he thinks is he likes the office <laughs> so he's already seen he's already seen this actor yeah. you know idris elba um so i don't know i might be able to talk him into him like hey check yeah. out the dark tower he plays like a really cool gunslinger dude you know so would you know. would you want to see more movies i would of actually this, of this series you know um yeah i would and i you know, and that makes me wonder if they had a plan to do more than one movie. I'm sure they did. So, but because uh, they could always subtitle it, I guess, since they've started with the Dark Tower, then it could be, you know, colon the Badlands or whatever, whatever the next thing would be. So. Of course, um, we'll have to wait and see because the movie kind of bombed in the yeah. box office. Yeah, so it, did. it might have to be one of those things where they had to reboot it another ten. 15 years or something or maybe give us the tv series <laughs> yeah there you go uh movies called the dark tower find it on dvd or you can rent it at the popper bluff public library that's where i got my copy Oh, cool there you go we got more reviews coming your way next on the screen team